up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl alizé and i am back again with another lit video y'all this one this one this one's gonna be a banger if you are new here don't forget to press that subscribe button and thumbs up this video right now all right y'all so as y'all can tell by the title today we are finna get into some tea baby bro oh and by the way before i continue happy cinco de mayo I hope all my fellow Hispanics having a time of their life today, you feel me? Y'all, we need to talk about Milan Christopher. Have y'all been keeping up with Bad Boys LA? Child, please. Let me, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. That man is pushing 50. That man is pushing 60 on some 1978 type shit. I don't even know where to start, okay, y'all? First of all, y'all already know that I'm secretly crushing on Milan because he about fine okay as you guys can tell by the title this video is specifically about milan christopher y'all gotta keep up with the bad boys la okay you guys milan i swear he is an attention seeker the moment i saw milan was on the show he was doing entirely too much y'all you would have thought we never even saw this man now mind you he was on love and hip-hop for a good amount of time so i really don't know what he came to bad boys club to prove you feel me? but y'all would have thought he was trying to prove something he was trying to prove something because he was in that house, you know, doing it up. He was doing too much, y'all. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I was waiting for somebody to mess up because y'all know how I do. So look, this last episode, Milan was trying to bully Carry On. Now, for those who don't know Carry On, Carry On is Kirk Franklin's son. That's Mr. Kirk Franklin's son. That's good, okay, man. Milan called himself trying to bully Carry On. Now, I don't know if it was really a bully situation, but what it looked like to me, Milan, he takes his build as intimidation. So he feels like because he built like a car battery, he built like a transmission, Whoa. he built like a deep freezer, he think that's intimidation for other people. He think that, oh, everybody's scared of me because of the way I'm built. So look, Milan met his match this last episode. Did y'all see this last episode? When Jonathan Wright came into that house, y'all should have seen the way Milan's face blacked out. It's like he saw the devil in flesh. I mean, I feel like Jonathan gave him a chance. Jonathan went around in every room in that house trying to see which room was going to be his, which room he was going to reside, you feel me? And um, he didn't find one that best suits him. Now mind y'all, Jonathan Wright, for those that don't know, he is a celebrity hairstylist. This does Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Sierra hair. What makes you think he's going to be bucked up with Dylan in the shack? No, that ain't going to work, baby. Milan, either you scoot over, like Jonathan said, or the room is his. And like, Milan, you set yourself up for failure because you told Jonathan that you fought Anthony for the room. I felt like you put a target on your back because you know Jonathan with the shit. Now you shouldn't have said that. Jonathan pulled a wild card. That nigga pulled a crazy foe. They had him shaking in his Fendi boots. When I say Jonathan did not let up on this man, y'all, y'all would have thought that this man owed Jonathan some money. Jonathan was this close up on his cavicle telling him I want this room and I'm bound to do whatever I gotta do to get it. <laughs> you feel me? That made you, you fold immediately. I mean, Milan, you folded into a pretzel, honey. Auntie Annie, you shouldn't have did that. You, you made yourself look crazy as hell, Milan. I don't know if y'all seen this, but Milan was literally shaking. He couldn't even speak. He, uh, 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 nothing, baby. Wow. And you know what the killer part is, Milan? You scary as hell. And I really thought she was that okay? You scary as hell. How you call backup, which is 30 pounds lighter than Jonathan, and then your backup get beat up? How you gonna call your friend into a house for him to get beat up and you don't at least pinch the You don't even jump. You don't even breathe. You don't even try to help. What? Never in a million years will I see my friend getting beat up. I don't care where I reside. We don't watch our friends get beat up, especially if we call them to our aid. I called you to my defense and now you getting beat up for me and I just sat back and watched it. Child, Milan, you scary and you a snake. Whoa. It don't get no worse than that, baby. I already knew that Jonathan was going to come in and run the house. Now, I did my review on the Bad Boys cast, but I never did review Jonathan because he didn't come until just now, you feel me? So, Jonathan is definitely giving Bad Boys. Y'all better watch out for him, okay? Because Jonathan does not play that. Milan had to call his friend because all of a sudden he wasn't fighting no more, you feel me? All of a sudden, after he had fought Carry On, that split little second after he fought Carry On and Jonathan walked in the door, he had finally decided that he wasn't gonna fight no more. So that's why he had to call his friend. Okay. And what I'm gonna need Carry On to do, I'm gonna need him to stop talking. Talking about he playing mind games on everybody in the house. I don't know what mind game he playing. Cause he the only one getting played out of his mind, okay? But like really be said, uh, Kirk Franklin either gonna laugh or he gonna be shamed. He gonna be shamed. And I think he gonna be shamed. Okay. But y'all, I don't care what nobody say. Okay, I'm willing to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I'm willing to argue with everybody. Gutter, 
Rally B and carry on, they carry in the season. Period. Carry on, carry on the season, okay? Without them three, it wouldn't even be a Bad Boys LA. I wouldn't even be interested. I wouldn't want to watch Milan all day. I feel like he do entirely way too much. The way he pulled up to the fashion shoot that time on that other episode and created a scene like that, I was just like, Milan. Y'all was at the studio, y'all was in a parking lot, and y'all was in a van before you arrived to this professional establishment. And here you go pulling up, bringing baby kid, oh. hood rat, alley behavior to a runway. Baby, we don't do that. We don't we do not do that, honey. And I really felt like you wanted some cool points. You wanted somebody to pat you on your back. You wanted some attention. Milan, once again, you are my father's age. Oh. Why are you acting like that? You, you need to, uh, you need to, um, you need to tone it down a bit, baby. Yo, I had to get on here and make a video about Milan because I just don't know what he's giving. Okay, he's giving, giving try hard. He's giving, you know when you go to Toys R Us and there's toys and it says try me? He's giving that. He's giving try me, <laughs> okay? And I don't, I don't wanna try you, sorry, no. Another pick me moment in this season is when he was giving out his sex toys, what? What was that about? That was such a pick me ass moment. Like, first of all, the, the straight dudes were, well, I don't know if they, I don't know if they straight or not. At this point, I'm confused. Cause Moolah and Curtis was sitting there as this man was passing out his, 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 his replica. You feel me? The replica of his dildo. Oh. He's passing out, you feel me? Dildos and the replica Somebody. of, of him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They were sitting there as he was passing out replicas of his thing. Accepting toys and all. Well, if y'all watch that episode, y'all know what I'm trying to say. He passed out some stuff. It was very suspect to me because I'm just like, okay, Milan, what is your point? What are you trying to get at? Like, why are you passing out replicas of your genitals? And then, why are the straight guys sitting there in admiration of this Like, ain't y'all straight? First of all, I have like seven brothers, okay? Really like eight. If a guy was to pull out a replica of their genitals in front of my brother. <laughs> Child, we gonna have to call an EMT around this. Whoa. They won't be going for that. That's They gonna take that as straight disrespect, okay? Like that right there is disrespectful. Moolah, you contradicted yourself. How you get mad because William was shaking his booty in the bowling alley, but Milan just pulled out a whole replica of his genitals in front of your face? You just saw Milan's genitals, baby boy. <laughs> I can't make this up. But Milan, you really thought you ate, honey. You left hella crumbs on your plate, baby boy. You thought you was a big bad wolf until another alpha came into that house, honey. You start to fold immediately. Damn, damn. And I mean shoelace. Fold up, baby. You fold like an omelet. You fold like an envelope. You fold like a folding chair. I don't know what the hell happened. That nigga walked in that house and you got timid. He said, I'm not fighting anymore. Nah, all of a sudden, I don't wanna fight. I'm good. But I don't blame me. I would've all of a sudden not wanted to fight anymore either. I would've all of a sudden had dyslexia. Oh. I would've been mal autistic and everything else. And I don't blame you. But yeah, you guys, I would've just, you know, I would've just shared my room with Jonathan. Jonathan is a boss. Nine times out of 10, Jonathan wasn't gonna sleep in that room anyways. Like Jonathan said, his house was as big as that house. So I highly doubt he was really tripping over a room for real. This video was just very short and simple. I just needed to get on here and call Milan out because you did all that woofing, hoofing, and hollering in the beginning of the show just for somebody else to come up there and really show your true colors, honey. You was shaking in your boots, baby. You was shaking. I mean, we saw the shake. And you would've thought it was 32 degrees out the way you was shaking, baby. <laughs> but y'all comment below and y'all let me know what y'all think. Who is y'all favorite bad boy? I still feel like Carry On or Really B and Gutta is carrying this season, but we finna see what this week's give because now Jonathan is on the show, honey, and y'all already know. Let me know what y'all think about Milan Christopher. Is he canceled or am I just overreacting? Cause I know what I saw. Y'all could back me up on this. He was scary. Jonathan put some fear in that man's heart. Now you too damn big, brolic, muscular, and manly to be that scary. I said, oh, you a bully bully. You came in here picking on Carrie. It was nothing for you to swing on Carrie. And what kind of swing was that? It was nothing for you to take off on. I don't know. I can't even say take off on. All these attacks has been sneak attacks. So I guess your best your, your best defense mechanism is when you sneak up on somebody. I, I don't know. It's nothing for you to fight everybody else in the house, but when somebody your, your size when somebody came into the house of your BMI or someone of your same weight class, oh baby, you scared, I don't understand that. <laughs> you supposed to get excited. Oh. You supposed to feel like you was in a candy shop. All that fighting you wanted to do, all of a sudden it stopped. So yeah, you guys, that is the end of my reaction and the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment who your favorite bad boy is and if you're Team Jonathan or Team Milan. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.